don't go to Jack in the Box and get tacos then. You're a sociopath. Bitch, it was my whole fucking pinky. The freakiest thing you guys have done. So we met on Tinder. If I get murdered, then get low. Let's go put that in there. <laughs> what are you gonna do if, I, if you leave me? It well, wait. one time. You didn't have to do my head in like that. <laughs> do you want to elaborate on that more? Butt stuff? <laughs> What's up folks? Welcome back to a new video. I've been bitching at Jordan for like, I feel like two weeks saying that I wanted to do a car mukbang with him. And also I was like, well, what the fuck are we going to talk about? So I asked for questions on Instagram and Snapchat. There you go, sir. Got Jack in the crack. This shit is literally crack. And for some reason, fries and ranch have like the greatest grip on my throat right now. I literally, I want to eat fries and ranch all day, every day. What did you get? So I got the same as Kenzie. I got a three taco meal. If you don't go to Jack in the Box and get tacos then you're a sociopath. Mm -hmm. Okay, let me pull up our first question. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I dropped a fry. I don't know where it went. We better find it. <laughs> first question. How did you guys meet and what was your first date? So we met on Tinder. I would say neither of us were looking for like a serious relationship though. No. Until we, I met you and I was like, mm, game changer. But anyway, so we met on Tinder. He was coming down for like some class for work or some shit, like to Denver. So we were like, okay, let's meet up. And so I went to this man's hotel room. Don't ever fucking do that. Honestly, I had no will to live though. I'll just wind it back real quick. I initially had said, let's go out for dinner somewhere. Yeah, and then you're like, or we could just um, stay in like at your hotel room and order food and watch movies. So I was like, absolutely. Oh, I did try to do the chivalrous thing. It just, <laughs> it didn't really play out that way. Don't worry, all my friends and what, all my friends, I have one friend. <laughs> Shout out to you one time. My best friend had my location, so I was like, it's sweet. Look at her. Uh, we went to his hotel room and then it was history. The crazy thing about it was, if you know how Tinder works, you have to be like in a certain mile radius of people in order to match with them. And he lived in Aspen. So he had came down to Denver for, for one day and had swiped on me that day. It was meant to be. Fight. Next question is, would you guys ever get matching tats? <laughs> you can't see, but there's a little M right there. Yeah, we beat you to there. it, baby. We've been there, we've done that. We took it the extra mile. Not only did we get matching tats, we got each other's initials, baby boy. What are you gonna do if, uh, if you leave me? What are you gonna do if you- well, I mean, you're fine if you leave me, dog. I'll still be keeping there for you always. Such a big part of my life. I think we'd always still be friends. <laughs> Stop! Always value you very highly. What has life been like since you guys got engaged? The same. fucking same? <laughs> I don't really think anything's changed other than I have a ring on my finger. Yeah, it's been two years. We still haven't planned a wedding. We don't have a venue. Nobody's looked at dresses or suits or nothing. I feel like we live like a married couple anyway. We fight like one too. <laughs> I'm just kidding. She's not though. <laughs> um, asked by this dickhead who wears the pants. Period. Freakiest thing you guys have done. <laughs> We carved pumpkins for Halloween. That was pretty freaky. Oh my goodness. Butt stuff? <laughs> <laughs> we have not done butt stuff. Advice for couples that want to move in with each other. Buckle the fuck up. I just feel like moving in with somebody is really going to tell you whether or not you two are going to make it as a fucking couple. Because yeah. I feel like you you see every aspect of them. You see how they live, you know what I mean? Well, and also, like, I feel like there's things that you learn about a person, like, when you live with them, like, you wouldn't necessarily have seen or learned prior to living with them. Like, it can, like, make or break things, you know? Like, I know that there are a lot of things that I do that piss you off in the household, you know? Like, you deal with them, but I feel like they wouldn't have been something that Kenzie would have noticed like just coming and staying with me for like a small period as an example like, no you can't fish the fuck out of me and the first time I came and stayed with him his house was spotless and I was like oh fuck yeah this motherfucker is the dirtiest laziest motherfucker I know like I'm messy but it's like you're not dirty messy no it's like with like it's with, there's a method to it there might be shit everywhere like all over the floor but you could ask me as an example where this t-shirt is and I'll know exactly where it is it's methodical all geniuses are messy so what does that say Einstein you think that man had that sh shit together no look a picture of that man he didn't even have himself together <laughs> um, favorite thing to do with each other my favorite thing is when we like DoorDash like $40 worth of snacks from 7-eleven at like midnight and watch like a TV show or something it is literally it's so good yeah I feel like that's my favorite what is something you guys dislike about one another I would say just 
how messy he is. That's like it. Like very passive aggressive. Do we plan on having kids in the future? Well, that's on you. I feel like <laughs> I feel like you keep chopping and changing. No, I want kids. It's just the thing that I fear the most about kids is labor. I don't want to push a kid out of my cooter cap. Rightfully so. Um, this is just a question for me. Um, where do you get your horror movie shirts? I get them from Dumb Good. Don't buy their hoodies. They're terrible quality. When's the wedding? Your guess is as good as mine. We haven't done any, even any looking into weddings. No, and <clears throat> to clarify, it's not because no one wants to get married. It's not because anybody's being lazy. It's because I'm obviously from a different country. So I'm here like on a green card. We're waiting until I can change my name legally in the American system so I can be married to Kenzie as Jordy Boy legally. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Yeah. What theme do you want to go with your wedding? I'd like to go get married in the mountains. I think we've talked about a little bit doing like a kind of, I don't know, like kind of grungy vibe. I think Twilight, but like going to someone's funeral. <laughs> okay, yeah, period. <laughs> How many tattoos do y'all have and which one is your favorite? I love you both. We love you. Cammy. I'm gonna just say one big one at this point. I got a couple of faves. My favorite is probably Chucky on my arm or this ghost face on my arm. I did a tattoo tour, you can check that out, and the link will be in the description. I think my favorite one is this one. Just cause she's- That's a nice tattoo. She's a bit warped and funny in this light. She's a nice one on my thigh. Mm. I can't show it, but it's like a snake that has like, it's like a mermaid. If the mermaid was half snake, half topless bitch, and she's got her titties out, it's a pretty cool tattoo. But those are our favorites. I don't know how yeah. many I have, probably like 20. How do you guys like California so far? I love it. What are you thinking? I like it. Um, I think like the main thing is, is I feel like, but well, obviously there's a ton of people here. I feel like you can't go anywhere and it not be crowded. Um, I feel like if you go anywhere and you step outside, it smells like car emissions. Mm. Literally everywhere smells like car fumes. I will say though, the weather here is top tier. Like it's warm during the day, but then as soon as the sun sets, like there's always a nice breeze, like it comes down a lot. I'm interested to see what fall is like here, because I'm a slut for fall. What song reminds you of the other person? Anytime I hear a little peep song. And I feel like anytime, which is very rare, I hear an MGK song. <laughs> I hate to break it to you, baby, but it's just not it. And also, um, Mutual Butterflies by Ryan Trey. What's that other song? The Juice Roll? Yeah. It's like Hide, I think, or some shit. Found my home. Yeah. Shawnee make me feel. That one? Yeah. Who's the more dominant one? I'm not quite sure if you mean in general or if when it comes to fucking and fucking. Yeah, if we're talking about in general, Kenzie takes the cake. Back to the who wears the pants question, it's Kenzie. Kenzie's definitely the more dominant one. Somebody said, when are you guys getting married and can I be the usher? The usher, what's that? I'm not 100% sure, if I'm honest. I just thought usher was usher. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> what's our favorite restaurant, fave place to go chill? How's life treating you guys? How's Jordan's transition going? That's a lot of questions. Can we break that down? What's our favorite restaurant? I mean, I'm a slut for chilies. Yeah, Chili's goes all right. Oh, fave place to go chill. I feel like we don't do much of that. Um, we usually just chill at home. Yeah, I think we're both home buddies. Which I think is good right now in the middle of two panoramics. <laughs> two Pamela Andersons. Okay. Uh, How's Jordan's transition going? Yeah, up the ass, actually. <laughs> I actually think I'm going to make a cheeky little video about it. Not to give too much detail if you're going to um, do a video about it. Uh, Planned Parenthood fucked him up. Yeah, yes. Yeah, so now I go to UCLA, so I go back there in like a couple of weeks' time, so I'll be able to let you know, but hopefully everything will start to streamline a little bit better now, and there'll start to be some more uh, noticeable physical changes. Uh, everything kind of plateaued for a little while there, but it's all good. Seeing the right doctors now, doing the right things, fingers crossed everything will sort of sort itself out in the next couple of, couple of months. My friend Ricky said, react to this. This is um, Rick from Dean checking in. There is water on the boat. Oh my fucking god, we fucking. <laughs> so fucking dumb. Do you want to adopt any more pets? Um, right now, no. Next question. <laughs> Damn, dude, look at that squirrel. Is that squirrel like rapid? Why is it walking like that? Yeah, you see it like walking all fucking bow legged and shit? Maybe he's bow legged. No, dude, he's like staunch. Like, look at him. What the fuck does that mean? What's each other's favorite tattoos on each other? I really like that. I like the ghost face that's just here. That one's my favorite. I would say my favorite is probably the goat on your shin. I would say that one or the sacred heart. Yeah. Sacred heart is nice. I just like the placement of that sacred heart. 
Shout out Cody one time. <laughs> what are our zodiac signs? I'm a, I'm, I almost said I'm a zebra. I'm a Libra. What am I? You're a Leo. Yeah. I must like Leos because my best friend's a Leo, Jordan's a Leo, and somebody else was a Leo. I don't remember who. From the outside looking in, you have an amazing relationship. How do you manage that? By the way, I love you so much. I love you so much more. It's not sunshines and rainbows all the time. Yeah. No, I think that's like a big misconception. I think like... I think any healthy relationship, you'll have fights. Yeah. But I think the, I think the most important thing is just like, I think at least that I've learned over the last like three years is just like communication where is a place that you would both like to travel to and your favorite place you have traveled to i personally haven't done a lot of traveling in my life i really haven't left colorado much i think my favorite place would be aspen colorado and i want to go to australia australia con so yeah, i'd like to go to like somewhere beachy with you you know like um uh, somewhere like beachy and nice but my favorite place i've been i'd say like probably like europe Somebody said, can you do a house tour? Uh, I don't really feel comfortable doing one while we're living in it, but maybe once we move out. Damn, that crow look mangy as hell. Yeah, huh? Where are we right I'm now, dude? Zoo or some shit. Jesus. That crow has been through it. What are some of the biggest changes in your life right now compared <coughs> to two years ago? I would say probably where we're living. I never in a million years thought I'd be living in California, nor did I ever think I would want to. I think our lives have done a complete 180. Like, we live somewhere completely different. You have a completely different job. Good, though. It's a good kind of different, don't you think? Mm -hmm. How many animals do you guys have now? Much love to you both. Much love to you. Three dogs and a fish. And then our last question is favorite things to cook slash eat together. Favorite things that you cook are sausage and potatoes for one. She's basic, but she always hits the spot. Mm -hmm. I like just watching Kenzie pe like eat, period. I just like watching Kenzie eat. I think that's like... I don't know if that's weird. Do you have like a, a f eating kink or something? No, because watching other people eat like actually really disgusts me. But there's something that brings <laughs> me like so much like pleasure and joy watching Kenzie like eat and enjoy a meal. And the way that Kenzie's mouth moves when she eats is like hot to is. No, dude, the last mukbang I filmed, I filmed with the Jew. But when I was editing it, I was watching it back and I was like, damn, I need to chew my food more. I would chew like twice and swallow that shit. <laughs> I would say my favorite thing that you cook is Homeboy makes a mean pot roast and mean like homemade mashed potatoes, Parmesan mashed potatoes. Uh, it's something I could eat for every meal of the day is pasta. So I guess that's it for our video. It wasn't much of a mukbang because Jordan didn't eat at all. It was just Kenzie eating three tacos and french fries <laughs> and drinking a small coke. And now she's gonna go home and eat a fourth. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I will see you in my next video. Peace out, Girl Scout. Period. <laughs>